Oh my god, I got myself in the eye, I got myself in the eye. Mayday, mayday. We're going down, this plane's going down. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, I am so freaking excited because we are diving in to another video in the series where I test another YouTuber's favorite makeup. And if you do not follow Jessica Braun, oh my God, you guys, she is so good. She's absolutely, like when you look at her and when you watch her, she's just like such a sweet, kind presence. Which by the way, if you haven't seen um, this series thus far, I have done a couple other videos um, testing Samantha Ravendahl's favorite makeup, which I will link, and testing Kathleen Light's favorite makeup, which I will also link up above. Um, again, if you haven't seen them, I definitely, definitely recommend checking them out. They're so good. And one of the things that I love about this is I love getting to pick like different types of people that have different types of uh, not only personalities, but like makeup application and makeup preferences. And with Jessica for today, I'm so excited because so much of her collection, as you'll see, there's just so much balance between drugstore, high end. We will get more into Jessica, why I love to watch her and why I definitely think you guys should check her out as well. But before we get into the video, I want to obviously let you guys know if you are new here. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. I would love it if you'd stick around and subscribe before you leave. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they normally go up around 7, 7.30 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. So they are bright and early morning uploads. And then of course, if you guys don't know, okay, if you haven't heard it yet, wow, you, <laughs> did you just hear the change in my voice? I'm just like, okay, it's time to get to business. But if you have not done so yet, please don't forget to go over and follow me on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. But I have been super, super active over there. You guys know I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers so that way I can get the swipe up feature. We've talked about this. And who's to say really at this point that at 10,000 this spiel stops? Because honestly, I feel like, okay, <laughs> I feel like Instagram is just the best place for those of you that don't follow me. Um, I do put up a ton of content over there. Everything from like makeup images and plus size fashion, which I've been really into lately. Just showing you guys more so, not like the avant-garde, like, oh, I'm so like, I'm so trendy kind of plus size fashion. I'm more like, you know, during the day I, I own a business but I like just on trend or on style everyday wear that's much more my niche so niche niche whatever and then in addition to those things I'm also really active into um, the IGTV videos I love doing those again whether they are makeup related plus size fashion related it really doesn't matter to me I love both and then of course in my day-to-day -day, I love the insta stories I hang out in there we talk about weird things what's going on in my life my walks with my dogs just uh, pretty much any weird random thought that comes into my head is just you know it's kind of all encompassed into my day-to-day -day insta story so again, if you haven't done so yet, please check me out. Again, everything will be linked down below. And with that, beautiful people, let's zoom the camera in and let's get started. All right, you guys, so I am good and zoomed in and I want you to know, okay, by the end of this video, um, I have every intention of taking out this, this uh, hot pink little satin scrunchie here and like letting my hair flow. But here's the reality of life. I am having, oh, I am having a hot flash from hell. Like I have the thermostat set at, I don't even know, 58, 60 degrees. And when I tell you, I am just like, oh, like I, I'm so, hot. Maybe that's TMI, but I am just, oh, I'm so hot flashy today. It's not even funny. And really quickly, just for those of you that might ask, like, Paige, you're 30. How are you having hot flashes? I have a brain tumor. I talk about it very openly. It's non-cancerous, but it, it's a macro prolactinoma. It's just a tumor that secretes a ton of prolactin. It's on my pituitary gland. And so I go through like massive, like hormonal shifts, which according to the doctor, the way they put it to me years ago is it's the equivalent of going through puberty, pregnancy, and menopause, like all at the same time, just like one day, then the next day. So this is just the menopause phase where I'm just hot and sweaty and you know I, I can't sleep at night because I'm dripping sweat I wake up I'm dripping sweat it's just it's so good it's so wonderful uh, but anyways just you know little tea for me to you if you're new here and you didn't know it hi I got a hormonal imbalance it's just a thing but anyways let's go ahead and get into this makeup I have a huge freaking container here and we're gonna again get into why there's so much and kind of talk through it but I want to start off first with the two primer options that I have the first one is actually a repurchase for me this is the Peter Thomas Roth skin to die for primer and you guys I love love this primer I've used it for years and I actually was did you see that I actually threw it in the garbage <laughs> go me I didn't just like chuck it on the floor this time anyways I've used this for years I'm just taking a little bit now and starting in the t-zone and working it out um, but what I like about this as somebody who has been oily forever and is now more combo leaning oily I really like two things about this number one it helps blur my pores which is why you'll see me really working it in this area but then the second part of this that I really enjoy is that it has more of like a mattifying 
mattifying end result, but when you're applying it, it doesn't feel like a super mattifying primer, if that makes sense. Like when you go to apply it and work with it, it has more of like a, like a slippy kind of feel, but after it dries down onto your skin and really just like settles in, it, uh, it does help create like a nice mattified barrier as you go forward in the day. And again, it's just a really, really good primer. I highly recommend this as well. I've used it, like I said, for a long time. This is a great recommendation. And then moving on from there, I wanted to pick something that Jessica is really big on, something she uses every day, and that would be an SPF. So I went with this one. This is the Super Goop Glow Screen Broad Spectrum SPF Sunscreen with SPF 40. And this is a very highly raved about product. Like I've seen so many people talk about it, but I thought since how Jessica Braun is, um, all about, you know, sunscreen life. She puts it on every single day. I thought this would be a good one to try. Take a little bit here. And I did see in her video that this has more of a sheen to it. I wanna say, so I'm going very lightly. Oh God, it has that classic smell. <laughs> Oh, you guys, does anybody else not love the smell? If you don't love the smell of sunscreen, oh my God, okay? I'm like a Northern Michigan girl, okay? I'm a Northern Michigan lady. And being a Northern Michigan girl, you have to grow up, literally, if you don't, if you don't know this, Michigan is the Great Lake State. We are literally surrounded by water. And so for me, as a kid, growing up, being at the beach all the time, um, having to learn like how to swim, I went to swim school, and really just like being out in the sun all day, every day, it was such like a part of my life growing up that now to smell that as an adult, well, Oh my God, like that just, it brings back such a flood of memories. I love it so much. And I really like that the smell isn't overpowering. Like I didn't even notice it until my hands were like right in front of my nose. Okay, so we're about ready to go into foundation, but I just wanna mention like, I I'm so impressed. That is like the most adorable light little sheen on the skin. And I think what I like about it is that, cause like I've tried putting on other, um, other SPFs before, like under my makeup. And for some reason they always feel like really slippery, slimy. They just, they don't like set well onto my skin, especially with other makeup. And the consistency of this one just is not like any other, um, any other SPF that I've tried. It's so, it like, it just feels like a primer. It actually feels really, really nice. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to foundation. And for that, I'm gonna be using this. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation, also with sunscreen. And I have this in the shade Ivory 10. And this is one I have actually used several times. Um, I'm very acquainted with it. I actually did a full video, which I will link up here, reviewing this and the entire Radiant Age Perfecting line that came out. I'm just taking some of it on my Kaleido sponge and getting it good and layered on. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time on this step um, just because I have already tested it and I want to save I want to save all the minutes for all the good things that I haven't tested yet. I will say that this is one of Jessica Braun's favorites and in terms of like the actual foundation itself, it is beautiful. It sets on the skin very nicely and what I like about this is that to me it's kind of like a cross between a CC cream and a foundation. I feel like you get kind of the coverage aspect from a foundation but then you also get like the beauty, the radiance, and the comfort from a CC or a BB cream and it's just it looks beautiful on the skin and truthfully wow it looks like even more beautiful with the uh with the primers underneath especially that uh that sunscreen can you guys see how like nice and lilty that is over the cheeks it's just like a little extra pop i like that okay okay now for concealer really quickly i'm just putting on a little bit of my Too faced born this way concealer this is in the shade swan and this is not one that she recommends because for some reason i'm not going to name any names Paige, but um i didn't pick up or forgot completely to pick up the concealer that she loves it's the one from shiseido i think it's like their synchro skin concealer something like that and um it's a it looks like a beautiful concealer i i think i feel like I've used it before, but I couldn't find it in my collection, which might mean that it was too old. Obviously, I didn't want to um, hold up this video just for one freaking item, especially when I have 32,000 concealers. So I just went in with that, and uh, truthfully, it looks beautiful. Wow. <laughs> like, my skin right now looks kind of gorgeous. All right, and now moving into powder, nothing warms my heart more than hearing her recommend this, because, like, truthfully, this is one of the, like, hands down, one of the best products at the drugstore, bar none, and that is the Maybelline Fit Me. I have it in 05 fair. It is their loose setting powder. And oh my word, you guys, I die hard, love and obsess over this powder. I've used it for years. And to me, this is just like a high-end powder at an affordable price point. Like it's so good. For today's video, because I'm a complete pig, I actually have to open a brand new one, which makes me so upset because believe me when I tell you, I just like, I just, 
just, okay, just had my hands on my open one and I can't find it anywhere. I have scoured this entire room, which by the way, looks like a damn tornado went through and I can't find it anywhere. So I'm opening up a new one, which is totally fine because, oh my God, I love this powder so much. Now I'm only using this to go through and set under the eyes and through the T-zone because I do have two, um, two cream products as well as two other powders <laughs> because I'm a little bit extra and uh, I, I want to obviously make sure that all of those can get used as well. So I'm just going to use this to set down like my extra creasy areas because y'all know I'm a creasy little lady. Yep, just dumped about two tablespoons of powder onto my feet. And by feet, I mean slippers, fuzzy slippers, the kind that love powder. Awesome. Okay, now moving into the next product. This is one that I have been so excited to test out ever since she's been talking about it for months and it is from Mac and this is their So Natural Glow Play Blush and guys, it's absolutely beautiful. The consistency and everything, I just swatched it. That feels so freaking creamy and I'm actually like, I'm really pumped to try this. I'm just gonna go in with my sponge here and then I'm gonna take and just lightly kind of pop it on this area, give myself a nice little flush. Okay, so yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I built it up a little bit more just so you guys can see it a little better on camera. Well, then who are we kidding? I would build it up anyways because I'm me. Like, I'm a blush fiend. And I, oh my God, like, I love that. It has the most, like, natural sheen. <laughs> it has a so natural sheen. Can you imagine? It's almost like the name is in the title page. But, oh my God, it looks so good. And it's just very, like, the, the consistency of this, I really wonder like if this is the type of product that you could actually put over powder because the texture is like a really nice light um almost like a cream to powder feeling like that that's kind of what it has after you apply it and it just feels so nice and it doesn't lift any foundation at all which is really impressive for this consistency oh i love this Ooh. And then also in the cream department, um, Jessica really likes this. This is the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand, and it's a highlighter in the shade Spotlight from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is something I had in my collection. I've had it, um, I wanna say for quite some time. A little bit goes a long way, so if you pick one of these up, you'll have it for a while. And it just gives the most beautiful sheen. Like, look at how gorgeous that is. It's just very bright and very, like, lifting on the cheekbones, and it layers really well with other products, too. So I'm just gonna take some of it here on my my sponge and just ever so gently kind of hit the top of the cheekbone. Just, oh, just look at it. It's so gorgeous. One of the things that I really like about this product is how workable it is. Like, you can build it up and get more of an intense sheen if that's what you're going for, or you can really blend it out like I did, and you can get more of like a subtle sheen for more of like a no makeup makeup day, and it's just beautiful. And again, it works really, really well with other products, and I just, oh, so good. All right, now going into the rest of the face, I do like to set everything down. And she recommended two pressed powders and I thought it would be cool to check them both out. I have the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder, which again, this is highly recommended. A lot of people really, really love this. Then she also recommended this one. And this is a product that I'm gonna be using to set down the rest of my face. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Full Coverage Anti-Aging Hydrating Powder Foundation. Woo, child, okay. Sorry, I needed a drink after my dissertation. Also, by the way, it was a drink of water. I would just like the record to reflect. It was a drink of water. 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 Anyways, back to this. I love the packaging. It has like a blue iridescence to it. And I did pick this up in the shade light, which is the same shade. Oh, it's the same shade Jessica buys. And let's really hope that it doesn't uh, get any darker because at this point, that's pretty dark on. Well, actually, you know what? Actually, okay, you know what? It might not be so bad. I'm just going in with this on a Wayne Goss 25S here and lightly setting everything down. I'm doing it in more so like a packing or like a, a pressing motion. I just like to go through and lightly set everything and then I do kind of go over top with a light little circular motion just to make sure it's kind of buffed in that there's no excess sitting on the skin. And then lastly, kind of dust away anything that's left under the eyes or through the T-zone, any of that excess Maybelline powder. Did I just say Maybelline really weird? Mayb Maybelline, Maybelline, Maybelline. Paige, <laughs> oh my God. Guys, I'm going into a vortex that I can't come out of. Mayb Maybelline, Maybelline. Did I say Maybelline? Oh my God, it doesn't matter. Paige, move on with your life. Now here's how I'm gonna work this. I'm gonna go in next with bronzer and then we're gonna save the Lift and Luminate powder for the very end. That way it really is like a nice finishing powder. I can buff it into the skin and I can kind of use it to blend all of the other products together. So just if you're wondering, that's when we're gonna use that. But really quickly for some bronzer here, I'm gonna go in with this little duo. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face, and face Sculpt, wait, Face Sculpt and Highlight Palette for medium to fair 
their skin tones and obviously I'm gonna be taking the bronzer this was actually a product that she talked about I want to say fairly recently because more so as of late she's been obsessed with the milk makeup bronze stick and again that that and the concealer were like the two products that I just for whatever reason just completely spaced out and didn't pick up but anyways I found this one on her channel um, she went through and she was just like shopping her own stash and she said that this was one that she started using again that and she had just forgotten how much she really enjoyed it and like truthfully the bronzer shade of this is really really pretty I like it a lot all right now from here we're actually gonna skip on to the eyebrows and for that I picked up this eyebrow pencil this is from LA girl actually it's only like two or three dollars and this is their shady slim brow pencil and I have it in the shade medium brown Jessica actually has talked about this one I want to say a few times and she said in terms of um, what you get for the price that she really likes it I'm just gonna take really quickly here and get some brow going on actually that reminds me one more thing I want to mention um, Jessica has talked a lot about a brow serum like for growth because you know I'm not gonna, not gonna say nothing okay but some of us over here are born with like six brow hairs and uh, we, we have to you know just try to cultivate some more growth and I did pick that up as well I've only been using it for like a week or so and obviously I'll let you guys know if it ends up being something that I would recommend but I just wanted to let you know I did pick that up as well per her recommendation and I've been using it I, I like so far because I'm not seeing like any bad reactions with it and I do feel like I'm getting a little bit more growth because I need some like right up here going down into my tails and one of the things that she said with that brow serum specifically is that not only um, does it help them grow, but she said hers grew in darker. Boy, would it be nice. Let me just put this out here. As a brunette, it sure would be great if I had brunette brow hairs instead of blonde. Like, who are we kidding? Um, so I'm, I'm really hopeful that it just does anything for my brows in any way. Truthfully, I'll take any help I can get. All right, you guys. So I am back. I just spent a few minutes off of camera doing my brows in complete silence uh, because I was so hyper-focused. <laughs> like, hyper, hyper-focused because you know what gets me okay and anybody else that has like weird brows you will totally be able to relate to this but this brow has more hair like right in this region and this brow is like way more sparse so it's always an optical illusion that this brow right here is both thicker and darker than this one so when I'm doing my brows I'm always like what's wrong like what could be wrong and despite the fact that I have had this problem every single day for the last several years in doing makeup it always gets me off guard I always end up spending way too long on my brows and then you know here I sit on camera explaining way too much about my brows that nobody cares about and then with all of that being said this is actually a nice brow pencil it's not like a super like creamy brow pencil in the sense of like if you're used to using the benefit or the abh this is a little bit stiffer but what i like about this is that while you're using it again even though it's not the most creamy of consistencies it's also not like super hard like the which one is it that i absolutely couldn't stand was it the wet and wild one it was like so hard and so like Arr! that i felt like you had to literally dig up blood like like you were giving yourself eyebrows with a tattoo needle like that that's how hard I felt like I had to push to get product out with that one and to me this one is kind of an in-between um, and even though I think and by the way I just saw on her thing I think this retails for $5.99 but for the price point it is really nice I would use this again absolutely and then also I did go in with a little brow gel this is the covergirl easy breezy brow in the shade medium 110 medium just FYI moving into eyes this one is gonna shock a lot of my my people that have been here for a while because I went and I, I went through her videos and I was like you know what what is something that Jessica loves like it's true to her aesthetic it's true to how she does her makeup all the time and it is like her go-to item and for that wouldn't you know it <laughs> wouldn't you just know that it is the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk quad now this is I believe it's a $53 little eyeshadow quad and here's my thing okay like price point and all of that aside I've talked openly on my channel before about the pillow talk collection about how I, I feel like everything that Charlotte Tilbury comes out with if it even has a tint of pink okay just a tint it is still part of the pillow talk collection and it's not that there's anything wrong with the color stories or the formulas it's nothing like that I've tried them I've used them they are beautiful but for me I'm just kind of like I, I guess I'm over the branding I just want you guys to know that in terms of picking up this palette specifically and using it for this video I picked it up a because it's her favorite but B because I actually really thought that the color story was beautiful and it was one of those times where you know I caught myself looking at it over and over as she's talked about it in various videos and I was actually really excited and, and really 
I guess, intrigued to test this out because I know the formula is gonna be good, but I really wanna get a feel for it. Like, how would I use this in my everyday life? Obviously, today's look isn't gonna be like some crazy blown out eye look because like, <laughs> how blown out is it gonna get? But I am really excited to test this out because I really like the, um, the choices that they have for not only colors, but for the formula in this quad because it looks like they chose one shimmer shade, then they actually have like a glittery shade. It has like a pink and gold sparkle through it. It's super beautiful. And then two matte shades right here. One is more of a true matte pink and the other one is more like a, a nudie brown pink kind of color. And I just feel like, again, in my day-to-day -day life, this is definitely something I would wear, I would reach for. It's very soft and subtle. So first up, I'm just priming my lids. This is a little bit of my Too Faced Born This Way concealer, the same one that I used before in the shade Swan. Start off out of the quad, I'm going to go in with the light pink matte shade here. And I'm taking this on a blunted, really fluffy Morphe Y16. I'm just gonna start kind of running that through the entire crease. And this one is gonna go up higher as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna settle it both high and low into the crease just so that way everything else has somewhere to blend. I wanna make sure that basically this entire area is nice and set down, but I don't wanna build up the color too much either. I want it to be just like that, like a nice little flush pink moment. And then going in on the inner and outer V, I'm gonna go in with this brown shade here, and this is a Morphe M454 brush. Also, really quickly, while I'm um, up close here, something that I'm noticing is that my um, foundation right through here and around my mouth, it's already settling out, and I know why. Yep, never, never mind, that didn't take long. Um, I just occurred to me, I used this sunscreen, which is inherently more of like an oily, um, like slippery kind of product, and I went in and set those areas with my Maybelline Fit Me. I didn't really let them like bake in, and especially like around my mouth and through here, I really should have done that because now, now it's looking a little a bit a little bit funky um so yeah i'm definitely gonna have to figure that out well guys i just decided to go for it i'm just gonna pack on a little bake um of my maybelline fit me and you know at this point the way i look at it is it could go really good it could go really bad but like it already is looking pretty funky and it's my fault it's not the fault of the products i should have known better um uh, because i know how like finicky these areas are but my thought process here is I will really like pack some powder in and then when I go through and I use my finishing powder I'll just kind of remove the excess and we can kind of see if that helps at all um but yeah that that's my own fault that's not a reflection of the products at all I, I literally as I'm sitting here I can't believe that it didn't occur to me to really bake those areas down knowing how like um smooth and slippery that sunscreen was I can't believe like what an amateur move page what an amateur move anyways going back into eyes here I'm gonna take both the shimmer and the little uh, glittery sparkle here and I am just gonna take I'm not using a glitter glue or anything which normally I would for like a more impactful sheen but for this look I more so want to just add like the the lilt of it all I want to just give it some sparkle and some pizzazz without it being too over the top so I'm just taking both of those layering them in the center and then building them all the way to the brow bone just to give me a nice little lifted center but from here we're gonna move in to some eyeliners and these are highly recommended from Little Miss Jessica of course but these are from Revlon and this is their Colorstay Micro Hyper Precise Gel Eyeliner and I have them in two different shades. I have it in, I think it's just, is it black and like beige? Yeah, I have it in 214 black and 216 beige. I believe she recommends these as a dupe for the Hourglass liners because these are 1.5 millimeter, like it's a teeny tiny micro tip. Uh, perfect again for the waterline and I believe, like I said, Hourglass has one and it has all day wear but it's super expensive so she wanted an alternative and found these. I don't know how well you can see it on camera but those are the two shades. The uh, the beigey one is definitely like a perfect waterliner type shade and then of course black I grabbed for the upper waterline so I'm I'm just gonna grab and get these applied. Yeah, wow, that's a super duper tiny, like little itty bitty pencil. I don't think I've ever used an eyeliner that's this small before, wow. But what I really like about that beige one, actually the tone of it, it's perfect for like my my eyes and for getting them to look a little bit more open and awake, but without being just like a stark white or like overly bright where it looks unnatural. It's like that perfect natural waterline. That's really, really nice. Also, side note, just almost forgot to uh, fix my face and like fix this whole situation. Situation. So let's pause and do that really quickly. So first I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna remove any and all excess powder that I've got going on here 
from Maybelline. That's like step number one. And then of course, at this point, we get to introduce the beloved number seven, the Lift Illuminate Powder. And I'm just gonna apply that all over. This is a Pro 3F brush from Furless Cosmetics. And I'm just going to do a little bit of this and then kind of buff it in. I figure as a finishing powder, this will be perfect for helping to kind of blend out all of the products and kind of, you know, re restore a little smoothness to my skin. Oh, I love, I love that. Oh, that's that's gorgeous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like this powder a lot. Okay. Feels so silky soft. By the way, I have this in the shade light if I didn't say it. And that looks just beautiful. Would that like work under my eyes too? Like just to give them a little pop? I simply must know. I'm just going to go in. This is my Morphe Y10 right here. I'm just going to pop it up under there. See if that'll give me a little brightness. Does it add any? Or do I need my KK? Actually, you know what? Shit, that kind of does brighten up my under eye a little. Ooh, okay, all right. A little Miss Lift and Luminate. I'm illuminated. Now, really quickly, just to help set down this whole powdery situation that we got going on here, I'm gonna grab a little bit of my Morphe spray. Mmm, yes. Getting back into the eyes, one thing that I love about Jessica Braun is just how real she keeps it. Like, she is the type of person and the type of YouTuber that she is never going to push, like, a more expensive product or a more expensive anything if there is a better or a cheaper option or something at the drugstore that will accomplish the same thing for, like, an eighth of the price. And so, for mascara, she, like, loves this mascara. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. I think I'm remembering this correctly. Like, this is kind of the gist of what she had said in one of her videos. Um, she's said, you know, obviously there are higher end mascaras that I love. There's always a higher end option. But like if I can get something that's just as good or close at a drugstore price, like why wouldn't I? And that is why she recommends this because it's a good like full body mascara, at least, you know, in her opinion for her lashes. And she's like for the price, I mean, yeah, I can get something better, but I'm, I'm not really wanting or willing to spend that much money on it. And so with that, she's like, I recommend the, you know, Lash Paradise mascara because it's really good. And for the price and for a drugstore option, like you just, you can't go wrong you can't beat it and it works really well for her oh my god oh my god oh my god I got myself in the eye, got myself in the eye. Mayday, mayday. We're going down, this plane's going down. Okay, it's like Lamaze class. Stab myself in the eye. Oh, you got me good. All right, it was just a little one. It was just, oh, it was just a minor guy. Tell that to my eyeball. My eyeball, my scorned cornea. You know what? It has to be one of the worst feelings in the world. Like worst meets weird meets just like, I feel like such a traitor. Like after you already have stabbed yourself in the eye with the damn brush, then you have to go back in and keep applying mascara and you basically have to tell yourself like you're lying to your eyeballs like I promise I'm not gonna stab you but like you can't make that promise because you already did okay or it wouldn't hurt we wouldn't even be having this problem if, if it wasn't because you already stabbed and uh, it's just you have to like negotiate with yourself like come on you can do it but like also you don't want to oh <sighs> I was just digging around in the box to get out all of the lip products that I picked out for this video which I'm not gonna lie okay I went a little bit crazy with the lips but I also don't care because I'm a lip fiend but uh, before before we get into those, I found two other products that I picked up that I wanted to mention that were also Jessica Braun favorites. This is the uh, Maybelline Single Shadow here in Dusty Rose. And she said she really liked this color because it reminded her of one of the shades. Wow, I could actually, I could see the resemblance here. Um, it reminded her of one of the shades out of the, uh, the Pillow Talk palette. And you know what? I mean, it's kind of like a mixture, actually. Oh, that's beautiful. <gasps> she said she likes to take this and put it all over her, um, like just all over her lid. That's beautiful. It's kind of like a mixture between the really light shimmer and the uh, the matte um, pink shade in the palette. That's a beautiful color. Again, it's like $2.99. Also sitting in the box was highlight because evidently I have none on, which again, how, how could I forget highlight? I truly don't know. But one of her favorite highlights is from Essence. It's their Pure Nude Highlighter. And I already had this in my collection. It's in the shade Be My Highlight. And before I go in and apply this, because again, I should have applied it before, I am gonna go in one more time and set my face with something a little bit more um a little bit more dewy because i just need the hydration on my skin right now and i think you know what let's go in with this this is from morphe it's their luminous setting spray and also i just talked about this oh it smells so good like it smells like a body spray. I would wear this. It's like such an amazing, amazing smell. But um, I talked about this in, I think it was like testing new drugstore makeup or something. I'll link it right up here. I just talked about it not too long ago and it's just a beautiful setting spray. And oh my God, does it smell so good. Also, I just ate some of it and you know what? 
not as bad as others okay not as bad as others but anyways let's go ahead and get into this highlight it is a little bit uh deep for my skin tone so i might have to brighten it up with another one but i at least want to get like a little base of this going on just so we can see it and for that i'm going to grab a wayne goss number 10 brush here and i'm just going to dip in like so let's actually do it on this side so we can see the little bit Oh, wow, that's really, really pretty. Oh, God, that's a beautiful glow. All right, so the only downside, because dear God, is that beautiful, um, is that I feel like, and I, I don't think it's showing up on camera, but I feel like I'm getting just a tiny cast from this. And I don't know if it's the light that's coming in or what, but either way, the shine factor is like on point. I love this highlight. I've used it before. I think it's gorgeous. I think what I'll do to brighten it up is just go in with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury one. This is out of that duo. And I'll just see if I can use a little bit of that just to lightly kind of, you know, <laughs> bring that up just a freckle, like just, just the tiniest amount. Yeah, that definitely helps a little bit. Again, it's not so much taking away or changing the glow. It's just more so adjusting the tone for my skin tone. And that looks beautiful. Okay. Much better. Okay. And also Paige, we might want to tone down the, uh, the Chalupa Chin we got going on because Jessica Braun doesn't really do the Chalupa Chin quite as hard as, uh, as you do. So just, you know, bring it down a notch. And so it's finally time to get into lips and I'm so excited for two reasons. Number one, the products. Number two, to get this crusty ass line off my lips oh my god i feel like i wiped it off 75 times and it was still there like oh get out of here all right now for this trio i actually because i have a liner a lipstick and a gloss and i picked this up because it's the exact trio that she talked about in her um if i wasn't a beauty guru these are the products i would have and i picked up all three because i really just loved the way that her lips looked like they had the most beautiful natural kind of pink tone to them but with a little bit more pizzazzle and again like lately in my day-to-day -day life that's very much so my vibe first up for lip liner here i have a mac lip pencil and this is in the shade dervish and i'm just gonna go ahead and get my lips good and lined it's actually a beautiful color oh i like that a lot and then from mac i have this shade right here again an another beautiful like nudie pink and this is in the shade 515 pat patisserie patisserie. Okay, hold on. Is this one of those words where like it's obvious what the word is and I just am reading it incorrectly? Like when I was a little kid and I read Harry Potter and I thought that he lived in a cupboard under the stairs. And by the way, this is a hundred percent true. I said cupboard and I said it for so long until one day I was talking to my uncle out on my grandma's front porch and I said, yeah, well, Harry Potter, he lives in a cupboard. And he said, a what? And I said, a cupboard. And he was the only person that took the time to go, Paige, do you mean cupboard? And I went, Oh my God, it's cupboard, not cupboard. Is this one of those where it's patisserie, but really it's like <laughs> rotisserie as in chicken. And I'm just not getting it. Like I just, I, I get really nervous now because as you can tell, I have a history with such things. Oh, I like this. It has like a nice little sheen to it. It's super satin comfy. <laughs> what a face. I'm like, <laughs> so cute Paige. But also, oh, I like this color. Mm, I like this a lot. Okay, I have not played with a MAC lipstick in a minute. And that's really nice. Mm, super, super comfortable. The color is beautiful. All right, and then last but not least, we have, of course, a lip gloss because you guys know me. My life begins and ends with glosses, okay? I love glosses. And this one made me so happy because these Buxom glosses are one of my absolute favorite glosses of all time. And actually, I've worn these since before I ever even had a channel because they were one of the first glosses I ever tested out. I fell in love. Anyways, this is the Buxom Full-On Plumping Lip Polish in the shade Claire. And can you see it? Has like the most beautiful light like Barbie pink reflect. Oh, I can already tell you. I'm so on board for this. Again, love Buxom. Anyways, I'm just going to take and put this right in the center. Mm. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. <laughs> you guys, I love these. Truthfully, you couldn't have went wrong with this. Oh, chef's fucking kiss, Jessica. Mm, love it. And all right, beautiful people, with that, the full face is done and complete. Obviously, this is how everything turned out. And I did go ahead and take my hair down. That way I looked a little, a little bit more put together. From here, of course, I am gonna go ahead and put up an up close. That way you guys can see how everything is looking um, at a little bit closer level. And I think from there, you know, the, the one thing that I want to point out, and if you're looking at an up close, you can see it too. But uh, the complexion, on this video it was it didn't go as perfect or as smoothly as I would necessarily have liked but one thing that I do appreciate even though it doesn't look perfect I really appreciate that with this video I got to try products that are way different than I normally would like the super goop sunscreen for example like it's more of a slippery type product it's something I wouldn't always use and so maybe you know under a full face of makeup like this it's not something I would reach for but again overall I think it's a beautiful product and I think you know out of all the things recommended here I actually think that that one is is one that I'm glad 
had the most to try because it's just something where I think it gives a little bit of a different edge or a different perspective on SPF and on sunscreen as a whole because I haven't, like I said at the beginning, I haven't had like a good experience with that part of skincare in general. And so to find something that is beautiful and effective and, and it would look beautiful on a day like that, I think is actually really valuable. And to be honest, if I'm going out to like, you know, go to the beach or just go outside, go for a walk, whatever, those aren't the days that I necessarily put on makeup. Plus I'm already wearing it, you know, from the day that I had, like if it's after work or something, but I don't like seek out to put on makeup for those types of things anyways. And so again, just a good product to discover, not necessarily in this setting, but still a good product to have on hand. But you know what, for as bad in my head as this could have turned out, because for a while there, I was getting very skeptical. Um, I would say the only real issue is that I have a little sloughage, like a little movement, which again, we've established that. Um, and it looks a little bit heavy, especially like round, around this region. And I think more than anything, it's just a, a couple of products that are competing with each other. If I take all of that out of the mix or into consideration, however you want to look at it, I think that it looks beautiful. And I can definitely see how this is like a Jessica Braun. Like this is very much so inspired by how she does her makeup. And truthfully for me, that's what these videos are all about. You know, they're not about always having or like achieving the perfect, most smooth, most amazing canvas. Sometimes it's about just testing out new things and trying to incorporate those products into your everyday life. I really do feel like with this video, I was able to get there. And if anything, I feel like I have a better kind of understanding for like her perspective when it comes to makeup and just how she looks at, at makeup products in general. It's actually something I wanted to touch on really quickly about Jessica before I leave is that she is a very, like if you, again, if you've never watched her, I highly recommend it. She is such a normal, like normal down to earth type person. And I really appreciate with her, her perspective on makeup and how, you know, if you can go drugstore, go drugstore. If you can find like a cheaper option, definitely do that. If you can find a better quality at a better price point, like she's all about it and she does dupe videos and she's like very dedicated to, to that cause, if you will. And going into this video, I really got to like experience that perspective because as I was picking out products, it was really nice to be like, you know, yes, this might be expensive. You know, the Super Goop, this might be $40 or the, the Charlotte Tilbury Quad, that might be $53. But then at the flip side, you know, we have a $5.99 eye pencil and we have a, what is this, a $2 or $3 highlight and we have, you know, this other, you know, $10 item. Like, like she's really all about incorporating both sides of it. And she really just has a beautiful balance between like money and functionality. And I feel like it's just a very elevated and a very mature way of looking at things. She's just so real and realistic. And, and by the way, if you love, you know, shop your stash videos, if you love people that are dedicated to what they already have, and they're not like super consumer driven and like buy, buy, buy and all of that, you will love Jessica Braun. Because again, that's very much so her style, her aesthetic, and she does it very well. And just, she's very, she's just very sweet. You guys, that is it. That's the end of the video. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comments, whether it is on this video, if you already watched Jessica, if you're going to go check her out, um, or if you check her out per my recommendation and you come back and you're like, Paige, this is fantastic. She's amazing. You can definitely do that too, because I would love to know what you guys think. And of course, I would also love your recommendations. If there's other YouTubers you would like me to do one of these videos on, please leave all of that down in the comments. And of course, as I said at the beginning of the video, you can subscribe, turn your post notifications. Those are both down below. And then in the description box, you can shop any and all of these products. If you want more information, you want to look at them, buy them, whatever, they will all be linked down there. And I'm going to spare you guys my song. Okay. Because like I had a whole number planned for this, but I'm going to spare it because I just, I feel like we've had a lot of conversating in today's video. So if you have not done so yet, please go down in the description box, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. That wasn't technically a song. It was only one note. It doesn't count. Um, so follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Again, they will both be linked down below. And I thank you guys all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey Paige, don't zoom the camera and then scooch forward because then they end up up your nose. Who do you think you are, Mr. Big Shot? <laughs> I just got freaking lip gloss, okay? Pink lips, lipstick, lip gloss, like the whole mix all over my freaking Invisalign. Ugh, the upper and the lower. Oh, come on. And then of course that brings us to the final stage cause it's the final countdown. Mm. Are you kidding me? Drop one, pick one up, drop one, pick the other up. Ah! But uh, you know it's down there, okay? Toot toot, beep beep, just get down in the description box. Description box. I'm trying not to look at my monitor, but also, <laughs> hello, I have like a mustache. Mwah.